Montez. Moore. Morales Aaron. Morris. Munvok. Miles. Novak. Ocampo. Hey, you guys are going down the street to San Mateo, 1st Marines, 5th Battalions. Well, the 1st Marine Division to me uh, meant a lot because that's the first division I served in combat during the Korean War in the 50s. It, it comes to a point where you're in a, in a war zone, you protect a Marine on your right, a Marine on your left, and make the uh, best uh, decisions you can make in, in, in a combat situation. I'm responsible for every Marine that's with me trying to keep them all of my Marines alive. And to me, that means a lot to keep them alive even if my life was in danger. The best part of 1st Marine Division, and it is the camaraderie that I have now with Marines that I serve with. Be proud of what you've done and now be proud of what you're doing in the 1st Marine Division. The 1st Marine Division all this training, uh, uh, trying try to uh, be ready for whatever war comes. I was, in a, I was an ex executive officer of the 1st Battalion, 5th Marines then down in the Quezon Valley. The thing I took away from Vietnam is, if you're gonna fight, you fight to win. And you have to do what you have to do to win. Keep your weapon clean and stay under cover when you can and shoot to kill. Okay. Commanding troops is the best thing I could ever do taught me responsibility to do the job, best job you can in any job you have and to take care of the people that, you, that are working for you. So you have to treat, treat your subordinates well and be respectful of your seniors and do what, what they expect of you to get the job done right. Marines today, they probably joined for the same reason I did, to do a job that needs to be done. I think the Marines Corps is still in good hands. The 1st Marine Division has always kind of been there a little bit above. And being part of that unit, you, you really buy into that culture and that belief. And I want to add to that and be a part of that. Whether you're infantry or not infantry, I think the legacy of just being a part of it, they want that carried. You know, combat, for infantry speaking, is our Super Bowl. We have all these games leading up to it. But if there's no combat, how do we test our skills? And so pre-9-11 for us, that's what it was like. And, and then when 9-11 happened, there was this dramatic switch in mentality. And so your training now has a purpose. You're training to survive. Take fire from the, uh, southwest and, uh, in general, I think my final deployment to Afghanistan was by far the hardest ever. Uh, being in Afghanistan as the first time with 1-5, uh, there's so much more added to that. We are the first to do this. And so the emotions, everything's amplified. So when something good happens, it's just that much more better when something pad or point it happens, it's just that much worse. The best leaders I had set pride aside. And so if you set pride aside, I think it opens up the ability to be authentic and genuine. You know, it's that old, you know, know yourself and seek self-improvement mentality. But I think just the, the best opportunity was the ability to lead and serve different Marines over time. I just think the relationships built. And although they're not dynamic in the sense that they're everyday relationships, but they, they do last forever. And I, I think that's kind of the, the, the best thing about the Marine Corps, at least I can say, is just the experiences of being with people, having been led by great people, and then the ability to lead great people. The 
last 78 years, the 1st Marine Division has always fought and won our nation's battles. Past generations now look to you to uphold the old breed's proud heritage. It's on us to uphold the legacy of the Marines who came before us. We will always remember where we came from and what is expected from us in the fight. Happy 78th anniversary, Marines and Sailors of the 1st Marine Division. To the veterans of the Blue Diamond, I promise you this division will always strive to live up to the example you've set. Our anniversary is a time to reflect on our history and appreciate the sacrifices of all the Marines who have come before us. Thank you for being such an important part of our identity and legacy. To those currently serving in the 1st Marine Division, you're part of the most decorated, celebrated, and feared fighting force in the history of the Corps and the nation we serve. With that, take pride in our shared legacy. Protect that eagle globe and anchor you've earned and carry our colors forward. Marines, we must be ready to fight, to be the first to fight in any clime and any place, and to show the world there's no better friend and no worse enemy than the United States Marine. And never forget this, the only thing better than being a Marine is being a Marine in the 1st Marine Division.